Well, welcome to your general reading with Angelica Sanchez Tarot. My name is Angela, and Virgo, this is going to be your reading for the first half of December 2019. I hope all is well with you, Virgo. Let's take a look at what the month of December has in store for you. So this is going to be for you if you have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or if you happen to be cross-watching for a Virgo. Let's get into this. Holy Spirit, what is it that you have for Virgo? Virgo, I feel like there's balance in your life or there's going to be a need for balance. But I see someone in particular that may be the yin to your yang or the yang to your yang, just depending on who's watching. I'm seeing that there, there could have been some type of disagreement. So I'm saying choose your battles. You may be choosing your battles, maybe choosing when to argue and when to just kind of let things go. I feel that there could be some type of well-deserved reward coming in. Um, possibly from spreading your wings and deciding to do something different with what it is that you do employment wise. I definitely feel that the opportunity for love is there, but I feel at this moment, Virgo, that you may be feeling alone. And you may be feeling separated from the one that you love and the one that you feel connected to. I feel that this could be a very important time for you to follow your intuition, that, that gut feeling that you might have about something. And base shocker. So I'm saying this is a time to get grounded and getting get centered. And there may be some things that you may be releasing and confronting. Some inner demons or some things from the past. Some things related to childhood that you may be releasing. You could even be confronting some people in your life. So that brings me to the overall energy of your reading. Virgo. I heard Taurus so strong. Some of you could have... Taurus in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Taurus, but that brings me to the overall energy, which is divine order. Understanding that there is an order to everything that may happen. Because what crosses the situation, or the challenge, in other words, to your situation at this time, is way of faith. Letting faith be your guide. And understanding that there is an order to everything that happens in the universe. There's a reason and a season for everything that happens. And maybe right now, Virgo, you might be feeling like you're, you might be finding yourself feeling a bit discouraged about the timing of things. Is something going to happen? Are things finally going to come together? Are things finally going to come to fruition for you? But definitely, I see progress being made for you. And I see that this is definitely a time to listen to your body. So on that note, let's see what might be going on for you, Virgo, with your body. You might be needing some space from people. Right? You might be very reclusive around this time. See, for some of you, there might be a Gemini significant to you. I feel that your spirituality. Okay, so we're going to go on to spirituality in a moment. Let me see what's going on with you health-wise, though, Virgo. Oh, your face, your head. Okay, maybe just your overall appearance. Some of you could be needing dental work. Or you could be getting x-rays. You could be experiencing pain in the side of your face here. Some of you could have some type of con contusion. Some of, you, some of you could have gotten hit in the face. I see surgery. And I see maybe a need for more pain pills, possibly because of some type of dental work or need for dental work, where you might be having some pain in your face or in your jaw. Um, I'm even seeing skeletal pain. Issues with your spine, your hip area could be significant. Um, I even see babies. So um, I guess some of you could be recovering from childbirth, but I definitely see babies. I see issues here with your bone, especially with your leg. I feel like this is issues moving forward. So you may be having issues with your foot, your knee, um, your muscles in your foot. Something about moving forward you're having an issue with. You might even be having an issue with um, your appearance. The way that you look, you might be feeling very critical about yourself. There might be some things here that you're wanting to cut away and nip and tuck. And you might even be having some type of issue with the top of your head. That's what I mean. Something is going on here. But I do feel that love, joy, and bliss are coming in for you. I do feel that there's a better time. But I do feel that, yeah, your leg muscle, you might be having cramps in your legs. Your lungs and your heart may need to be looked at as well, Virgo. So we're going to look at... Okay, so we're talking about your spirituality is getting some type of a boost or an upgrade. 
Um, we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. No, actually, let's just go with it because that's what I see. The matrix, the illumination, you're definitely expanding. You might be feeling impatient about some things. And yeah, there's going to be hidden blessings. Spirit is wanting to encourage you that you're never alone, Virgo, although this might be a lonely season for you, a lonely time for you. Virgo. Yeah, you're going to be learning new things. Some of you are very curious about learning something new. I do feel that your angels are definitely whispering to you. I feel that meditation could definitely bring some type of harmony or comfort. Maybe you're needing comfort at this time because this could be a very emotional time for you or you may just be needing more emotional support. I do feel that opportunity is going to present itself and I feel that your energy, right, you may be balancing out your energy. Okay, being, Like I said, yin and yang, balancing things out and then I feel that you are moving toward the light. And that is something that you're definitely focused on. Realizing that we're all one, that we're all linked. Okay, so with regard to love, I see a love situation where there may have, I feel like something was revealed. This could be God revealing you something or whomever you believe in spiritually. Someone in your situation may feel that they're the martyr or that they're bearing the weight of the world. I see that there's something that you're wanting to co-create, Virgo, and I see little children could be significant to you. So let's get into this. What's going on with the Virgos for the first half of December 2018? Okay, right off the bat, I see the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This could even be in your chart, Virgo. You may have Aries in your chart very prominently. Feel that the springtime could be significant to you guys, or there could you could be dealing with someone who was born in the spring, which could be an Aries, could be a Taurus. Um, Pisces is born in March, so I'll even say Pisces. Like I'm missing somebody. No, I said Taurus. Gemini. All right, you come up, you come up in the upright in your reading, Virgo. Somebody you stop talking to. Possibly this Libra or this um, Aries that you stopped talking to. I see Capricorn as well. Uh, some of you may be estranged from your children, Virgo, due to some type of separation that may have occurred in a home setting, um, a family setting. Some of you, there could be, there could you, you could have stopped speaking to a friend of yours. Some type of friendship may be on the on the rocks right now. Gemini is very pre prevalent in your reading. That's why you're needing emotional support. Someone, Virgo in my heart goes out to you, could have passed away. Somebody get hit on the head. Did somebody have cancer in the head, an aneurysm of some type. Anyway, I see that this could be figurative you could be laying something to rest but with the cards here i feel that there's someone that maybe went on to glory and you you may have lost someone in that in that facet of life or you're grieving the loss of a relationship someone that balanced you out someone that picked you up when you were down <sighs> you might be caught in a caught is that really the word? You may be making a choice about two different directions in your life, and you may be uncertain about which direction to take your life, which direction or which path to take. I do see that some of you are spiritual, or you're, for some of you, you may decide to take a spiritual path when it comes to your career path, a calling that you might have about some type of spirituality and about expansion, mind expansion of the people around you. I see some of you are spiritual teachers, but I also see an issue where someone here could have done some jail time and could be going to court due to someone's lie or deceptive activity. For some of you Virgos, this could have been your kid that went to jail. For some of you, this has something to do with a work situation. Some of you could be looking for work. Yeah, some of you are. You're dealing with a court situation. Some of you, I see 
I don't want to make this too much about career because it's going to be a, a separate video, but I do see a job interview on the horizon for you. And I see that there could be an offer coming in after a period of time where maybe you did do some jail time and maybe you're feeling a bit discouraged that you won't find a job. Yeah. Somebody passed away or someone's on their deathbed on the brink of passing away and you're feeling like the situation isn't fair. You're like, why does this person have to go? Why does this person have to be ill? Um, Virgo, there could have been, you could have sent out an inquiry and I see a reply that may have come in, but you may have missed it. Mm. This could be you putting out your resume. There could have been some type of blockage or something here could have prevented something from coming in. Somebody did pass on. Could have been a child somewhere in your life. I see someone that you may see as manipulative or someone may see you as manipulative, Virgo. I see a situation where you may feel taken for granted or your cross watcher may look at you as someone that took their kindness for weakness and took them for granted in the past with something that was said that was completely uncalled for and very below the belt. I feel that for some of you, someone could have lost their cool and things could have came, come, came to blows. This could be why someone ended up in jail. And yeah, this could have had something to do with a work setting. Some of you do work with your hands. You may build something. You may be a builder of some type, an architect of some type. Some of you could work in construction, if you get my drift. Some of you could be, I don't know, massage therapist possibly. But I see a situation here where, where you're feeling absolutely stuck because there's someone that you've been wanting to get in contact with but haven't been able to. Yeah, somebody lost their cool is what I feel. That's something here. So one of you may view the other one as being very controlling, very obsessive when it comes to a situation. And somebody, like I said, has has hand trouble. They, they, they put their hands on you. Someone was very disrespectful and they were caught lying in a scenario. Possibly this King of Cups. I feel that there's someone in your scenario, Virgo, I, I almost said Cancer. Some of you could be on the, that's not a cusp, never mind. You may be dealing with a Cancer though. But I see a situation where you may, kind of be protecting your emotions and there might be a situation where you're feeling nudged by the universe and seeing signs and synchronicities by the universe that it's time to maybe share those emotions and open up emotionally about something especially if it's about someone's passing um it's, it looks like you're trying to find the courage to maybe reconnect with your mother or this could even be a baby's mother it could be a sagittarius in particular, but I see that there would there could have been a, a very knockdown, drag out fight where some very hurtful and harsh and very brash things were spoken. With no regard for the other one's feelings, absolutely no filter or um, qualms about whether or not the other person was hurt. And truthfully, there were. The under the other individual was left feeling devastated. And someone, this could be you or them, Virgo, feeling regretful about how things took place. I see that maybe you're unsure about how to approach someone, Virgo, after whatever this was that transpired between the two of you. There could be issues here with finances that could, and maybe having, maybe an issue about having to make a decision. Some of you could be robbing Peter to pay Paul, or you could be dealing with someone named Robert, Peter, or Paul. Something here feels like it's completely out of your grasp, especially if it has something to do with finances. Because some of you are waiting for some type of money or waiting for some type of opportunity that possibly you were praying for. And you're not seeing any type of reap or har any type of harvest or any type of probability or hope that something that you've been asking for and praying for is happening. So you might be feeling discouraged about something, especially when it comes to a love relationship. Because I'm seeing that you could be doubting that there could be a reconciliation possibly with your children or your family. Because I see a family that's in a state of disrepair. I see this um, 
fire sign, the Sagittarius or Leo individual here as well, um, who could also be very spiritual. Mm, I see a Libra. Uh, Sag could be taking you to court. And maybe intuitively you already know that this was this is something that's likely going to happen because I definitely see something re regarding court that could be significant. Yes, absolutely. You could be dealing with someone who's doing jail time who could be on probation or parole or it could be awaiting some type of sentencing. But yes, I feel that there's an attorney somewhere in this situation. You could be consulting an attorney or um, consulting a spiritual advisor about some type of direction about how to take something what direction to take something or to get some type of advice on a, on how getting some type of goodness for for foreshadowing on how something might play out yeah money finances they're definitely an issue someone here is down on their luck and they don't have a place to stay and could be coming to see you some of you this is random but maybe you lost con communi connection with your animal maybe your animal left your pet may have left you may be reuniting with your animal. I see aggression. I see arguing. Did somebody put their dog down? Did your dog pass away? Either way, I see a player. And I do see that someone is down on their luck and may need some help. They may be thinking about the future. And may be wondering about because some of you, Virgo, this is your kid that might be down on their luck. Your kid might need money for bail. Someone, I promise you, is trying to reach out to the other one and needs some type of assistance such as bail, but they can't. the other person is unreachable. So I do feel that something here may shift or change after some type of argument or fight. Um, someone's perception of the other one may change because someone in this scenario could be very spiritual. But after some type of outbreak, someone may look at someone completely differently. Someone's forced to have to tell the truth. Someone is, this is like the universe saying, yeah, it's time for you to go back and handle a situation. And I feel that there is someone in your scenario, Virgo, that you may want to, you may want them to see things from a different perspective, but you feel like that's a stretch, a stretch of the imagination that they would change their viewpoint or their vantage point about you. Yeah, I do sense that there's a shift and I do feel that things and people from the past may come up to the surface, especially some emotions, some past emotions that maybe you felt that you had dealt with and processed and were a complete non-factor to your life at this point are resurfacing. I feel that there's an area in your life where you're looking for some type of consistency, especially when it comes to your finances or your homestead. You could be looking for a consistent job because maybe your financial situation has been very on and off and very spotty financially. And maybe you've had a very difficult time keeping your head above water. Maybe someone here is, has completely exhausted all of their options. Someone is calling for bail and they may have called everybody that they know to ask for a favor, but they've exhausted their options because they can't get in touch with somebody. Okay. Someone's not telling you all of the facts. Someone definitely kind of gave you a cloudy version of the truth, which isn't the truth at all. But I feel that there is someone coming to you, Virgo, or you communicating with someone and the other one is longing. It's like their plight is to be heard out saying, please listen to what I have to say. Because someone in the scenario, Virgo, may feel that the other one does not want to hear what the other one has to say. I feel that something that was covered up may be rediscovered. Something here may come up, like I said, to the surface. Something here is going to be unveiled. And I feel that this was a relationship where you saw a lot of potential and you put in a lot of time. But something may have hurt you or your cross-watcher Virgo to the core very deeply. And that definitely puts some space between you and this individual. But I feel that some of you could be maybe dabbling into in some type of magical practice, maybe to manifest something. Right? You may believe in the concept as above, so below, because as I stated, you are very spiritual, some of you. Like I said, this could be something that you're curious about and looking into.
I see a pregnancy somewhere in your situation. And I see some type of brilliant idea, some type of brilliancy that you want to bring to the table. Virgo, when it comes to something in your life, you might be feeling confused and very ha having a lot of deep emotion for someone and not sure how to process that emotion. It definitely may be you are enveloped with emotion regarding your child. Because some of you are definitely concerned about the welfare of your child or your children. Someone owes child support. I see a custody battle that could be settled or coming to some type of agreement. I see someone who was acting single but really was not single. And yeah, I see a breakup of a home. And for some of you, this could be a childhood memory. This could have been something that you experienced as a child, that you witnessed as a child with your parent. And for some of you, I believe I got this for a lot of the signs, you may have repeated that pattern that you saw growing up. For some of you, it could have been your dad that passed on. Some of you may be worried about maybe a mother figure in your life that may be passing on. Yeah. Little children. Some of you may work with children. I see resurrection. There's something from the past that you want to bring back. Or someone from the past that you want to bring back. War and peace. I got this for Gemini. I got it for... Aries, you could be dealing with it definitely. Gemini is very strong in this reading. Their energy is very strong. You could be dealing with a gem or an Aries, as I stated to you before. Let's take a look at the energy of your cross watcher, Virgo. See how they may be feeling at this time. Okay, something about this work situation. Yeah, some of you could be landing a new job. Okay, your cross watcher could definitely be traveling. This could be you or them, Virgo, because remember, this is interchangeable. Take what applies for you and leave the rest. Listen to this with an open mind. Yeah, there's going to be something here to be celebrated, especially if there's a baby. Some of you may be bringing a child into the world. Um, you may be feeling isolated at this time. You might be feeling very emotional, Virgo or cross-watcher, about something in your life. Because something may have come to an end and maybe it's hitting home and it may have something to do with this Aquarius individual or a fire sign in Aries, specifically Leo or Sag. Yeah, there's the baby. You may have a family with someone. Like I said, this has everything to do with your relationship with your children. Some of you are estranged from your children because of some type of separation within a home environment. There you are, Virgo. You come up. And the upright. Okay, one more. The cross watcher may feel taken for granted. They may feel that you don't appreciate them. Some of you may have four children with someone. I definitely see a new beginning between you and a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, some of you may have five children with someone. You may have multiple sets of children. You may have two, two children with another. Okay. Yeah, children are definitely significant for you, Virgo. <sighs> yeah, I see you welcoming a new child with possibly a Sagittarius. I see an ending of a relationship. But I see you maybe spending a lot of time at work to maybe take your mind off the situation at hand, Virgo. Okay, it looks like you and this individual love one another, but the other one is not sure how the other one feels. Somebody feels that they're all alone, but all alone in love. But the other one just really doesn't care about what they're going through. I definitely see a liar. Someone that may say things out of insecurity. And someone that doesn't really think logically about things. Could be how you see them. I see that you may have ghosted this person, Crosswatcher. You may have ghosted your Virgo or Virgo. You may have ghosted them. And that ended the family dynamic. That ended that situation. That maybe you want back. Intuitively, I feel like you feel each other's vibe. 
you feel this individual even though you guys are taking some space and some time away from one another. And there may have been some type of regret. Some of you may be regretting a loan that you may have taken out. Yeah, but it's because I see money is coming in for you. I do see that there is a shift coming and that there is some type of honesty. Some of you were feeling very intuitive about what was really going on and what the truth really was in a scenario. You knew somebody was lying. Your instinct told you that something wasn't right here. And so, I do feel that brighter days are coming, possibly having to do with a Sagittarius. There may be a new start on the horizon between you and the Sag. After maybe you released yourself from this individual. Okay, some of you. Okay, maybe you did separate from your love interest for a moment after some type of argument. Okay, so yeah, you guys are both thinking about the argument, but there's a water sign individual here that may feel that there is no future between the two of you because of how intense things got between the two of you. Or someone may have acted very overly emotional and over the top. There could be some type of regret. There could be a Cancerian in your picture that feels that they're regretful about what may have happened. And they see you as someone who is very spiteful and someone that is still holding on to resentment. And the reason for the resentment is because, Crosswatcher, you may have seen your Virgo as someone that wasn't, that posed themselves as someone that was ready for a commitment, but really wasn't really all in. So I see someone definitely has their eye on you. Could be your cross watcher. And they may want this new beginning. They may be ready to take it on this new phase, this new chapter, this new cycle with you. Yeah, you might feel that one of their biggest flaws in this connection, cross watcher, is that they took you for granted and they absolutely don't know how to talk to you. And they weren't giving you an ounce of clarity or an ounce of truth about what was really going on. Or possibly how you could feel, Virgo. So you did end this. And you ended it possibly because someone left you for someone else. And someone may have come up empty and now they're feeling foolish and they want a new start with you. So I see that there could be a mother. This could be also some type of pregnancy here. Somebody was sneaking around possibly and got an earth sign pregnant in a third party situation. So I feel that there's a, a queen of cups or Pisces cancer or specifically cancer that's saying, I can't move forward with this. This could be what you're worried about. It's saying no, after this cheating, I don't know that I really want to open up emotionally to someone who's very inconsistent when it comes to this relationship where you guys have had this on again, off again thing. Where someone really wasn't really giving any true effort in this situation and someone feels that they came up empty. Someone definitely had some type of an ego during an argument, during some type of blow up. So I see somebody's giving up on this. And yeah, and decided to look for their happiness and their fulfillment else, elsewhere. And this is where they left. They left feeling that the grass was greener elsewhere and that they would definitely win in a different situation. But that situation may not have played out the way that they had expected, just as I stated to you earlier. But let's see. Yeah, but someone's still holding on. Holding on to hope that the two of you can reconcile the situation. Though someone here may be still very manipulative and unwilling to commit. May have something to do with an Aries individual or a Libra. Okay, You may be waiting for someone to make a decision. Possibly between a Gemini or an Aries or a Libra. It's somewhere in the scenario or there's a fire sign individual. So we got Aries, Sagittarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, of course, you, we got Gemini, I did say Libra, and I see Taurus. This could be in their moon arising, okay? 
Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah. So that's where you guys are at this moment. So let's see. Whisper, show me what else you have for Virgo. It's up to you, Virgo. Whatever this is, you already, you absolutely already know what this possibly could be. But Spirit is saying the decision is absolutely up to you about who you choose in this scenario. But whomever it is, it's time to take action. Because I feel that, yeah, time is of the essence. Because I see abundance coming in as a result of taking action on a career decision. There might be something that involves some type of a process and spirit is saying, don't stop. Keep moving forward. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep that momentum going. Don't give up. Because on the other side of this scenario, it looks like there's a possibility for forgiveness. But before that happens, there may be some things here that have to be reviewed and let go of. Or this is you saying, I'm letting go of one of these individuals no longer deciding to juggle the situation. So I do feel that Virgo would, and remember this is a general reading and not everything happens at the same time for everyone. But for some of you, within the next few months, there is some type of decision making that you may be moving forward on and taking action on with regard to some area of your life. Maybe some type of compromise or some type of agreement may be made. And Spirit is saying, remain positive because the situation will improve. Even though you may not feel that way right now, it may be feeling a bit daunting or frustrating for you at this moment. So the possible outcome for the Virgo. Possible outcome for the Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or cross watcher. Yeah. That bond may be very difficult to break because of the fact that you have true love there. But there's some factors here that you that are undeniable that you can't really turn a blind eye to. These could be some factors here. Someone's controlling ways or someone that may not see eye to eye with you spiritually. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a conversation had, likely within the next few months for some of you, about whatever this decision is about. And Spirit is, yes, once again saying stay optimistic about your love life. And there could indeed be some type of traveling. And there could definitely be a soulmate in this scenario. For some of you, you may meet someone new with this Ace of Cups as you're traveling. So for those of you, yeah, with this Ace of Cups, there could be some type of new opportunity that comes in for you with love. Some of you could be meeting this individual at the workplace. All right. Where do you least expect it? So for those of you Virgos that are completely done with this situation and you're wanting to know what else could possibly, come, possibly be coming in for you, let's take a look at that for the single Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of December. Looks like it's just seeing the past. Like something is distracting you at work. Kind of throwing you off, yeah. I do see a separation. You are shuffling for something new. But I see past situations that are kind of lingering. Yes, absolutely. For some of you, that Ace of Cups could definitely bring in some type of new relationship. Where you might vibe with this individual. This could indeed, without a doubt, be your soulmate. This new individual that comes in. But the, the lingering energy of a third party could still be around. Yeah, and there could be some type of regret that maybe you're kind of processing and dealing with. Someone in the scenario may have issues with alcoholism, drinking, or some type of addiction or vice. Yeah, um, I don't know, Virgo. You guys are into dating, but it looks like there's going to be a new opportunity opening up. You are thinking about the future. You are thinking about... Who you would like to be with long term and it does feel like there's someone that you're in love with or this could be you falling in love this could be a brand new opportunity or relationship where you are falling in love and you feel that this person could indeed be your soulmate but i see a cycle that hasn't ended so i'm feeling like this person that you're in love with 
could still be this past individual or this could be how this past individual is feeling about you. This could be their their energy that's from the past that's kind of lingering on in your aura. Let's see. So for the Virgos, single Virgos. Ah, oh, Virgo, you come up in the reverse. Okay, you're packing, you're moving. Yeah. Some of you Virgos, it looks like you're you're maybe focused on remedying your financial situation because it may not look the best right now. Okay, but it looks like there could be an offer or an opportunity that comes in for you to have this new beginning. It's definitely there. Yes, without a doubt it's there. It comes out again. Not once but twice. But there's an opportunity to get some type of clarity about how to move forward. So you do have the Ace of Cups not once but twice. So without a doubt, yes, and with the Nine of Cups being there, there's absolutely a situation where you might, the outcome of a situation may, may make you very happy. But again, there's a chapter here or a cycle that still hasn't closed out. So that I feel like that's where you're making a decision about whether or not to close out this cycle or to let it linger and let it regenerate and start a new one. A fresh cycle with this past individual. So I feel like that's where your dilemma is. That's where you are. That's where you're. That's where you find yourself at a crossroads, Virgo. So, the advice for the Virgo singles: Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The advice for Virgo. Virgo, the advice for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. All right, this. Surrender how dated beliefs about yourself, Virgo. Let go, okay, that's what the let go is about. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can fly, then, then you own your power and soar in your life. Whatever this is about the past, old ways of thinking. I feel like there's a renewal, a renewal of your mind. And Spirit is saying that this old you, yeah, this is becoming obsolete. Because Spirit is definitely, the divine is definitely molding you and shaping you and getting you prepared for the next level in your life. At the bottom of the deck is surrender to non-action. This is for you, Virgo, or your cross watcher. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So there may be a situation here, Virgo, where this is either you or your cross watcher saying, you know, and spirit is saying, let this go. Let it be. Surrender this situation entirely. Let somebody figure this out about whether or not they're ready to approach you or if they've completely decided not to. It's kind of tough if, if this is uh, you and your relationship with your child, Virgo. Some of you are estranged from your adult children and you haven't seen them in a while. You may not have seen your mother for a while. It could be fearing that there's some type of change with her health. For some of you, this is your father that could be ailing. Whatever this is, I feel, I don't know, for some of you, there could be cancer that may have come back. Someone's cancer could have been in remission and it's coming back around. All right, Virgo, with that aside, this concludes your general reading with Angelic Ascension's Tarot. Just know that I'm not accepting personal readings at this time, and I do hope and pray that these general readings are very helpful for you. If you found that it resonated, feel free to leave a comment below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up button, and consider subscribing if you already haven't. All right, Virgo, bye for now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again in another video.